Good morning from the Blackpool seafront where it's a little bit windy this morning. It's also a lot colder than it was last weekend. Last weekend we were basking in sort of 25, 26 degrees Celsius. Today the high is forecast to be 12, so we've got the coat back on today. It's a uh, much chillier day, but I thought we'd come and check out what the Boulevard Hotel construction is looking like. It's also, in case you're wondering why there's loads of people running past me, it's the Blackpool Marathon and Half Marathon today, which is why all the prompts closed off. Lots of people running, good luck to them. Me and Rich did con briefly consider doing the halves ourselves, but the, the training's been off for the last few weeks because we've both been really struggling with hay fever and stuff, so we'll do another one later in the year, maybe. Maybe next year. <laughs> We'll do it. I've already been for a run this morning with Max anyway. Had fun. That was good. Anyway, that's this hotel. You can see all of the scaffolding is now down from the hotel. Lots of interior finishing going on. It's looking there or thereabouts now. A little bit of further cladding to go on outside. Obviously some building work still going on out of the front here. But the hotel itself, I just had a look on the website and it was letting me book from the 1st of June which is obviously only just over a month away but I'm sure I remember people telling me that they've actually been able to book stays here from the last week in May which is only a few weeks away so we're looking, it's looking more or less there, there's a little tiny bit of scaffolding left on that side of the hotel over there but this is nearly, nearly there now, you can see there's people working inside the hotel there now actually fitting out some of the rooms so I'd like to go and check this out later in the year once it's open now this bit here is the former Coasters restaurant, the old one. Obviously there's a Coasters restaurant inside the park now, but this is the one that used to be and it's been derelict for the last few years. Looking really nice now, there's all this new facade on there. Obviously we're struggling to see over the top of this fairly tall fence at the moment, but it'd be interesting to see whether that'll just be for hotel guests or whether us as regular day guests, day, day guests, day guests, be able to go in as well. Can't see much inside at the moment because there's all polythene sheeting all over the windows. Plenty of runners coming past. It's a little bit breezy this morning and at the moment they've got a tailwind and I don't envy them when they've got to turn around and run into this wind shortly. <laughs> a much quieter day here at the Pleasure Beach than it was last Saturday. To be expected of course today's just a normal opening day rather than last Saturday of course which is a late night riding event. I've just seen the Big Dipper going around with people, an icon as well. And thankfully I've seen the big one testing. It's not going past at the moment, but I have seen them send at least three or four test trains around. Which I was a little bit worried about that wind on the seafront. Thought we might be touch and go for the big one, but it's not too bad actually. I think I might start with Avalanche actually, or at least I'll see what the queue's like as I'm walking past here now. Looks like they're only running one train on Avalanche today. Potentially still testing at the moment, because I haven't seen any people on it yet. They're definitely still only just testing it. Hopefully they'll open it just in a minute as I walk around the corner. But it's only on one train. And it's a really quiet day here anyway, I suppose, but even on a quiet day you can get a bit of a queue on Avalanche because it's not got the greatest throughput. I could hear some hydraulic hissing like Revolution was about to launch. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, is it coming now? Hiss, hiss. The big one going with people on it which is a good sign i'll leave the big one for a little bit because everyone else in the park is walking towards that at the moment there's another test train being sent on avalanche there's a chap stood in the entrance at the moment telling people that it's not quite open yet yeah here does they are sending revolution and that's empty at the moment. Like the Pleasure Beach Express is just pulling round. Maybe I'll go on there first. Something a bit different. Here we go, nice and sedate to start the day. A little ride around the park of the Pleasure Beach Express. See what the ride queues are looking like. Those that we can see from the train at least. Just about to go underneath the big one. So let's take a look at that. One day I'll catch the big one coming out here just as we go under. Not today again though. 
the big ones queue is all the way out of the station and I assume it's on one train today maybe we'll leave that till later launch. That's quite nicely timed. There's the Big Dipper as well heading back into its station. No queue at all for infusion at the moment. Although I did do that, the big one goes back. I did ride Infusion a couple of weeks ago. Not in a tremendous rush to ride it again, to be perfectly honest. Now here's a bit of a look at the other side of the Boulevard Hotel. That's the back of the Old Coasters restaurant. Still a little bit of scaffolding in place on there. But the back of the hotel itself. Looking more or less there now. The existing big blue hotel which I did see on Twitter the other day, it's had a repaint. Not sure whether that's around the front, because the paint on this side, no, no, maybe it's been painted. It looks nice either way. I do like the big blue. We stayed here on opening weekend. It's a fantastic hotel. Scary wolf, there's another one coming to get us. I've seen Big Dipper going around the whole time we've been on here. So, so it's either got no queue or it's broken. Hopefully it's not broken. Avalanche is just hitting the break room with some people on it. And it looks like it's got very little queue from when I just went past. So I think I'll head there next. That's a nice view of a tree, isn't it? Here's the squeaky wheels as we go around the corner. They're not too squeaky today. Oh, it's because the track's a little bit wet. Oh, <laughs> oh, just as I was saying that. Airtime John's favourite bear update. Is that still falling off? Sorry John. Never mind. Right, the queue for Avalanche isn't outside the building, which is a good sign. Let's jump in here. Barely any queue for Icon at the moment, which is always good to see. I said over towards the dipper though, I think. Actually, when I went on it last week, I was just sat on the wheels and it was really, really rough. But today it was pretty good. I was on the second back row, so not on the wheels, obviously. Nice in there. Really enjoyable. Loads of air time on the back. Really enjoyable ride. Definitely top tip for the Big Dipper and all the woodies in general here at Pleasure Beach, actually, is avoid the wheels because you'll have a much more smooth ride. If you like being thrown around, of course, then jump on the wheels. Not, not for me. Now the big one's queue is still all the way out onto the ramp. We'll leave the big one until later. But we're going to have a go on Icon now, I think, because Icon has only got a little tiny bit of a queue. Icon's running on two trains today. Not quite the three train service we had last week, but should still move the queue pretty quickly.
feel like this is new. This plastic sheet. It's not people shoving their feet through. Is that new? It's icon, by the way. Just been on that. I'll tell you about that in a minute. What do you think? Has, has this always been here and I've just not noticed it? It's a fabulous ride on Icon as always. It was on the back row today. Loads of air time on there. I think I'm going to do a big one now because the queue's died down a little bit. It's just inside the station. That'll do. then really it's in, a good, it's in a good mood again today it wasn't quite as good as the ride I had on the late night ride in last Saturday but it's still good it's running well a little bit of wind up there so it's not quite carrying the same amount of speed over the hills but I enjoyed it it's always good on the back road that lovely violent kick over the, uh, the top of the first drop love it uh, looking up at Revolution it has no queue I was just about to go for lunch but I'll go on the rev first because I don't always feel like going on the rev after lunch so while it's got no cue, we'll jump straight on there. So I'd love to tell you about the ride that I just had on the Revolution, but I can't because I didn't get on it. Unfortunately, just as I sat down in the seat, locked my restraints down and they got a few rows ahead. And then he locked the back row of the, um, the second car along for the front row, just wouldn't come down. So the restraints are kind of stuck, half locked, half unlocked on the same car. So engineering have been called and they've had to evacuate the ride for the time being. Totally forgot to mention, by the way, when I came off the big one, as you may know if you're a regular visitor to the... Start again. As you may know, if you're a regular visitor to the Pleasure Beach, there is no filming of photography allowed on the rides, obviously including mobile phones. And while I was in the queue, the ride ops were announcing. Obviously people were sneaking their phones out on the lift hill and elsewhere on the ride and they announced while I was in the queue like if we see people using your phones then you will uh, be escorted off the ride and not allowed back on anything else for the rest of the day and then two trains later uh, they obviously caught somebody doing exactly the same thing again so they publicly shamed him in front of everyone when he got back into the station they wouldn't let him out of his seat until both they had two ride ups stood next to him and then they took his wristband off him, so he can't go on any more rides for the rest of the day. So, absolutely fair play to the ride ops on the big one. And don't do it guys, don't try and use your phone on the big one, because it's a really stupid idea. It's the marathon and the half marathon still going. You've got a crowd of people cheering people on, it's good to see. A bit of encouragement for the runners. It's a lovely sunny afternoon here in Blackpool now. Nice and warm, coats off. There's no queue at all for Icon behind me. Let's have a little walk over that way, shall we? Really love the front row on Icon. And especially when I barely had to wait as well for a front row ride on there. It was a three or four trains had to wait but wanted to go on uh, any seat on the train obviously because it's got a front row specific queue it was a bit in there uh, I'd have almost walked straight onto the train but while well, I went on the back road this morning I really wanted to do the front and now I'm walking straight up the ramp to the big one the queue's died off a little bit since earlier on today
Just having a look at the other side of the Boulevard Hotel construction over here. Obviously still lots of external construction still going on. Still, still? I said still twice then, didn't I? Yeah, it looks like they're preparing the outer area now. I think, from what I can see, that structure over there, where are we? Can you see it over the fence? The structure over there would be the entrance to the hotel. Drive in over here through this area that's being paved at the moment. I don't know. Will that be the entrance, do you think? What do you think down in the comments? Is that going to be the entrance? Or maybe it's going to be some kind of covered plaza to have a drink on. A little patio area. Let us know down in the comments what you think it will be. I realised I started talking about hotels and never told you about my ride on the big one. We're right on the front row this time. We the back row earlier this morning. And in the front row on that ride just then. Uh, which means my two favourite coasters here at the Pleasure Beach have done the front and back row. Icon on the big one today. Probably going to head over to Icon again now. In fact, I am still by Icon's entrance at the moment. The queue's not too long, so it shouldn't be longer than 15 minutes or so. Probably just go wherever I can get this time. Maybe back row even more key, but I don't think I'm going to be bothered waiting for the front row again. today from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. It's been a really good day. It's good to see the progress on the new hotel. It's just there behind me, just behind the big one, well in front of the big one's first drop. Excited to see what that looks like when it's finished in a few weeks time. Anyway, I need to get on the road. I'm running late. Oh, that little, uh, that last ride on Icon that I thought would be really quick. It'd taken one of the trains off, so it was down to one train and it took way longer than I've ever queued for Icon before. So probably maybe 40 minutes or so that I was waiting. And it wasn't even on the, uh, the full queue, it wasn't even all the way back to the gate. But never mind, it was fun anyway. I, got, I went back on the front row again, because the, all of the bays when I got into the station had like two rides worth of people in them, as did the front row queue. So I thought, let's go in the front row then, I might as well. I enjoyed it anyway, it was a good, nice front row ride on Icon to finish the day, as I did last week actually. The last ride of the day in the night was uh, Icon, front row in the dark last week, which was good. But that was good today as well. Anyway, I'll shut up now. Thanks very much for watching. If you're not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button to follow our adventures. And we will see you guys in our next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.